Good morning, people of Holy Name and St. Leonard of Port Maurice. Today we celebrate the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The Gospel today picks up where we left off last week. Jesus, after feeding the 5,000, sent them home and his disciples on to the other side of the lake where he would continue his ministry. But before he did that, he needed to go up the mountain, symbolic of being in God's presence to pray and to commune with the Father. Then renewed by that time alone with God and himself, he continues his mission and starts walking across the lake. Meanwhile, his disciples have been beside themselves in fear of the natural storm that is around them. And so when they see Jesus walking towards them, they think it's a ghost and they freak out. But Jesus speaks to them, they recognize his voice, and then Paul asks if he can join him, and he does. At first he's successful, but then he too needs to be rescued, because Paul needs to learn how to commune with God as well, to find that inner strength and renewal, that true faith that rests in, in being in God. We learn from this that Jesus' mission and the fulfillment of our baptism is a participation in the life of God. Only in solitude and prayer can we recognize the God who dwells in us and calls us to live fully in God's spirit. Elijah, in our first reading from the first book of Kings, does not find God in the distractions of the winds, the earthquake, and the fire but is the quiet whisper he hears in his heart and he recognizes the presence of God. To live life to the full and to do the will of God, each of us needs to have our own time of communing with God on the mountain like Jesus and Elijah. In that wordless oneness of shared being where we are in God and God is in us, God's love transforms us so that we may see him in all things. This sight is born of faith and experienced as love, and it is living in God's love that gives meaning and purpose to our every breath and to every relationship we are in. Let us pray that the Spirit may speak to us, reassure our faith, and help us to live in God in all things. And may we come to live in Christ's peace in the midst of the storms that cause us fear, to hear the whisperings of his voice in our heart. And may God's peace and love bless you all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.